So if you look at my first video when I was doing the first assessment, I said, hey, I think we need to shim this stuff about a tenth of an inch or so, maybe a little bit more. Use two half shims, put one on the top and bottom. Well, I think pretty much I was right. Then I did all that listening to expert crap. We went down this rabbit hole. So, all right, look at this. On the left-hand side here, you see this gap between the uh, calipers, okay? That's half of 550. And what's 550? 550 is the maximum lift on these carrier heads, which he has it set, set up for right now, except we can only go 500 due to the spring. If you want to go 550, you have to replace this spring with a uh, beehive spring. Other than that, physically, the, the system is ready to go with 550 lift. And half of 550 is this right here. And uh, this is the top of the uh, valve stem, kind of. And this is uh, uh, half of 550 right here. And this makes this uh, little wheel, little roller wheel, on the top of the valve stem, 90 degrees with this right here, okay? So they're set for 550 lift right now, okay? You can bolt on these roller rockers and it works with the carrier heads out of the box, but we don't want 550, we want 350. And uh, you know, 550 minus 350 is two. That's full lift. What's half lift? One. What did I say we needed? One. Remember? Look over here. Uh, it's a little harder to see, but uh, here's the edge of the caliper here. Okay, here's the blade part. Look how much farther down it is from the roller to here. That's uh, like one, okay? And uh, then it's uh, 90 degrees right here with this. This would be at half lift, uh, 1700 something, you know, it's 35, 62 or whatever. So that's where the problem is, is the valve stems are too long because the valve stems are set up for full 550 lift, okay? If you shave these valve stems down, you can no longer get the carrier magical 550 lift if you want it in the future. So you have two options here. Take all the valve stems out and have a tenth of an inch gr ground off of them, probably like 0 0.1105. I have to look what the measurement is for it. And if you're using a 275 cam, you'll take even more off the valve stems, okay? Or shim the stuff up. And the shimming it, you know, creates other issues of stability in the tower, and you have less threads going in it. So the the right way to do this is to shave these uh, valve stems down. That's where the problem's coming from. So um, I have to wait till the lash caps get here and measure all this exactly perfectly. And I may just pull all the valves out and take them down and get them all ground, and just get rid of this excessive top because I'm never going to go past 3,500, 3,600 lift. Okay, I'm not going to 550. I don't need these big tall valve stems in here. But that's where the problem is, okay? It's set up for 550 lift. I'm never gonna do 550. I'm never gonna go past four, <laughs> okay? I can't imagine going past uh, uh, what I'm gonna do now, 3562. Uh, so I'm just gonna, I think, take all the valves out, take them down and get the valve stems, you know, shaved and put them back in here and go from there. And then this thing won't need any shimming or any of that stuff.